It's Wednesday, November 15th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. Florida public schools could see fewer regulations next year. Some lawmakers are looking at getting rid of school regulations after the passage of House Bill 1, which expanded the state's school voucher programs. Earlier this month, they looked into eliminating requirements that third graders pass the state reading test and eliminating requirements that high school students pass language arts and algebra exams to graduate. Today, the Senate Committee on Education Pre-K-12 through is taking up three more deregulation bills. The first bill is mainly about school personnel. It includes allowing school districts to issue temporary teaching certificates, expanding eligibility requirements for the teacher apprenticeship program, and doubling a teaching certificate to 10 years if that teacher is rated highly effective. The second bill is meant to add efficiency for school boards, like parents getting electronic notifications about meetings, adds flexibility for makeup days, and simplifies requirements allowing students to carry essential medical supplies. The third bill takes direct aim at instruction. Under the rules, schools would no longer have to offer summer VPK, school boards would have more authority over what materials can be used in core subjects, and it would relax requirements of recess. Instead of 20 consecutive minutes of daily recess, schools would only be required to offer 100 minutes per week, meaning schools could theoretically skip recess one day as long as the time is made up during the week. Today's meeting starts at 2 o'clock. If passed during next year's legislative session, these bills would go into effect on July 1st, 2024. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis says he does not want to be a vice presidential running mate on the Republican ticket if he doesn't win his party's primary. Well, the only tickets that are in the future are with DeSantis at the top. I have no interest in being the number two. He made that comment yesterday as he signed a new trade agreement between the state and the U.K. Polls continue to show former President Donald Trump holding a commanding lead in the race to challenge President Biden. Trump has been a frequent critic of DeSantis during his campaign. And a special call from space. NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli answered questions from students at Creative Learning Academy in Pensacola this morning. The call is meant to inspire students and promote STEM projects. Find these top stories along with local news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Florida City, in South Florida, originated as a land promotion named Detroit. There were no buildings in the area when the first 30 families arrived in 1910, and they had to stay in Homestead until their houses could be built. The name was changed to Florida City when the town incorporated in 1914. Much of the city is hotels and other tourist facilities, but Florida City also serves as the gateway to the main section of Everglades National Park, along with serving as the mainland entrance to the Florida Keys. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen. Oh,